a coffee maker. I mentioned this a day or two ago, but our reserves have pretty much dried up. Okay. Anyway, three new requests came through today. I'm really excited. Maybe things will pick up again. Maybe. I'll send through photos of the Vix. Can you select some corpses that resemble them? Tomoe will come by with the van. Okay. Thanks. Um... Are you okay? You're pretty quiet. More than usual, anyway. I'm fine. I see. Well, thanks. I'm sending the photos now. Message me when you're done. I'll send Tomoe over. Yeah.
the corpses you picked out are good. Two of them, anyway. What's wrong with the third? Mm, he looks a bit too old. Older than the victim, at any rate. I see. Sorry. It's not a problem. I think it'll still be convincing. Are we delivering them today? No. I received even more requests overnight. I need you to go select more cadavers. Sheesh. Again? Sorry. Aren't you happy that we're busy again? Couldn't care less. I'm only doing this for you. I heard that Tomoe got you a birthday gift. Way to change the subject. I... I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be your friend, and I was just so caught up within my own head that I couldn't be bothered with your birthday. It's fine. So... If you'll accept a late gift... Is there anything you would like? A date. With you. Anything else? No. You're being awfully forward today. I thought we agreed to just be friends. What's gotten into you? Nothing. Forget it. I'll go pick out some cadavers for you. Later. Okay. Bye. Stupid. Yo. What kind of hello is that? Frick. Sauce. In a mood. Always the case with you, ain't it? Seems to be. Listen. How about that cup of coffee you promised me? Huh? You know... Come on, don't make me say it. You said you'd brew me some coffee with that French press thing. And, well, ugh, I could really use a cup, you know. Oh, yeah, I remember. Zaz, Noriko has sent me to the morgue. Why, she kill you? No. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it ain't every day a pretty girl offers to have coffee with you. So are we doing this or what? Okay, I can put off the morgue until later. You finally came to your senses, huh? Well, come on then. Let's go to your place. I'll drive. Let's go. This is your place, huh? It's freaking dark in here. Sauce. 
You a vampire or something? Of course not. I was just outside in the sun with you. True that. You don't bring girls back here very often, do you? No. Maybe if you made the place look more appealing, then girls just might want to come back here. You're here. Sure, but I'm complaining, ain't I? True. Why are you here anyway? It's not for coffee, is it? <laughs> You're a sharp one, ain't ya? Listen. I wanted to talk to you away from, you know. Your boyfriend? No! Jeez! Away from Noriko! Oh. See, this whole thing's been going downhill, wouldn't you agree? All this shit with trying to make people off themselves? Sure, I'm used to it by now, but... Shit started to hit the fan. How so? Well, there's the business with... What was it? The Human Removal Service? Noriko told you about that? Yeah, of course. We're besties, you know. They've been out there killing and killing, and the police want to shift all the blame onto Corpse Girl. After all, Corpse Girl is the only killer that has gone public. Her name and website are written all over the body bags we deliver. People talk, and everyone knows about her. So, of course the police are going to assume she's behind all the murders. Except, she's not. Not really. A handful of them here and there, but even then, they're just suicides. Corpse girl. Noriko. She ain't out there slashing necks and drowning people and setting houses on fire. She ain't doing any of that shit going down on the news. I know all this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying... If things keep up at this rate, the cops are gonna find her, Noriko. And she's gonna get locked up for life. I ain't gonna lie, she deserves it. The stuff she's doing is messed up. Thing is, me and you, we're a comp... Accomplished... Accomplices? Yeah, that. We're in neck deep. If Noriko gets put on ice, we get taken along with her. Hmm, I see. You're worried about going to prison. Of course I am. I've got people to take care of. What would Shinya do if I got locked up? What would he think of me? Not to mention my little brother and sister. anymore no matter how much she pays me I just I just can't keep risking it I think your course of action is clear it is yes you need to step away from the game it won't do us any good if you're not totally invested. You can make a fatal mistake that has consequences for all of us. If you're not committed, not focused, it's best that you part ways with Noriko. You know, you really are more understanding than you look. I thought you were a total social outcast with no feelings or empathy. Thanks. Let me finish. I... I was wrong. You're alright, Kojiro. 
I'll, I'll take your advice. I'll talk to Noriko and tell her I ain't cut out for this anymore. It's for the best. I guess we won't hang out anymore. Do we ever hang out? <laughs> well, our deliveries, our time at the factory. Then know. Kind of grew to like it. Kujiro. Oh, shit. I forgot. There's something I still need to do for Noriko. What's that? She asked me to go to her apartment and pick up some clean clothes for her. I owe her that much, at least. You want to come with me? Her apartment? Okay, I'll come with you. Do I need a break any windows? No, of course not. Noriko gave me your keys. I see. You sound disappointed. Every time I come in here, it smells worse and worse. What is it? Don't know. Yuck. Anyway, her place is up just a few more levels. I know. Oh, you've been here before? Mm. Huh. Kojiro. Hello there. My name is Tomoe. What's your name? Momo. Nice to meet you, Momo. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. The door is locked. I can't get inside. I see. Is your mommy or daddy home? I think daddy is home, but he won't answer the door. Let me try, okay? Yo, anyone home up in here? Hello, anyone there? Are you sure your dad is home right now? I think so. He was here right before I went outside to play. You don't think something happened, do you? Don't know. What's your dad's name? It's Kenji. Kenji, huh? 
And what was he doing before you went to play? He was watching TV. I see. Thank you. If he's got the TV on, it might be too loud for him to hear us. Anyway, I'm sure he'll open the door soon. We should go up to Noriko's. You're unbelievable! I ain't leaving this girl here! What if something bad happened to her dad? Uh, something happened to dad? No! No, honey. I didn't mean it like that. Kojira, we need to get in there. <sighs> Clear the doorway. The daughter is right here. Bring her with us. Hurry it up. Momo! Oh, thank God! Sweetie. Daddy... Daddy has to go to the police station for a little bit. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm so sorry. on here. You okay?
Okay, I'm done. Can we get going? Yeah. Wake up. Noriko, wake up. Again, Kojiro? Uh, what time is it? Early. Listen, got some questions for you. Uh, give me a break. <laughs> no coffee. Here. Oh, thanks. This is nice. Glad you like it. Now, questions. Fine, go. You know a guy named Kenji? With a daughter, Momo? on the floor below me. That's right. You on speaking terms? More or less. Almost sweet. A nice girl. Kenji... We used to talk, but then... Well, I think he's lost respect for me. Let's leave it at that. I see. This is weird. How do you know those two? Hmm. Went to your apartment yesterday, with Tomoe. You did? Had to collect clothes for you. Going upstairs, we saw Kenji get arrested by the police. Lots of cops, and the detective from TV. Wait, Kenji got arrested? Why? Don't know. They took him away in cuffs. 
took Momo too. No. The detective. You're not talking about the one heading up the murder investigations, are you? It's him. Big guy. Fujikawa. Huh? Fujikawa? Yeah. Poor Kenji. I wonder why he got a ra- first told me to start killing. I knew that running the website from my apartment was a risk. I knew accessing the database of the deceased could be tracked by anyone watching me. I took certain measures to protect myself. To protect Corpse Girl's work. What did you do? I pinned everything on Kenji Ogawa. I used his internet service, his Wi-Fi. I used his address for registering my website. I used his name for every service I signed up to. Everything I did created a trail of breadcrumbs that would point to Kenji in the event that the authorities ever came looking for Corpse Girl. Clever. I'm impressed. Thank you. It finally paid off. <laughs> the police will either treat Kenji as the culprit, or release him once they figure out he's not who they're looking for. Either way, they'll be back to square one. And I'm off the hook. Sure, if you say so. Hmm? That's all well and good, but... You've been conducting a lot of work recently, since you stopped living in your apartment. What's your point? You've been logging to Corpse Girl's website from here, from the factory. You've been accessing that database of the deceased, too. Don't you think if the authorities trace that, they'll just come looking for you here? cell service to connect to the web. I'm not using a dedicated internet connection, and I'm running my connection through a proxy to mask my IP address. That can't be traced, right? Oh no, but I'd be cautious if I were you. The cops will figure out Kenji's not guilty soon enough. Just you wait. Normal guy like that? He won't be able to give them any of the information they're looking for. 
Wouldn't be surprised if he gets released before the weekend. So? Hitting a dead end like that will only enrage the police. Especially that detective, Fujikawa. Don't you think they'll redouble their efforts after that? They'll surely do whatever it takes to catch the true culprit. Uh, yeah, sure, I hear you, but... Corpse Girl really isn't the one they're looking for. The Human Removal Service is behind most of the recent deaths. They don't know that. They only have eyes for Corpse Girl. You made her famous. Made her known in every household across Tokyo. She's as much at fault as the Human Removal Service. And you know it. If they catch you, let's just say you won't be let off the hook so easily. Gotta go. You good here? Yeah, I'm fine. Right. Later then.
Noriko won't let Tomoe walk away from this. Help you? Tomoe in? She's, uh. Are you a friend of hers? Yeah. Um. This is an emergency. Really? Uh, hang on. I'll go get her. Jiro? What the fuck are you doing here? Need a word. Hmm. How'd you get my address? <sighs> you know what? I'd rather not know. Tomoe, who is this guy? Why does he smell like... <laughs> Long story. Is he bothering you? Should I, um... Should I take care of him? That's nah, all good. He's harmless, mostly. I see. Need to talk. It's important. Fine, come in, come in. Him. He needs to go. Seriously? Yes, come on, what do you think I'm here to talk about? Ugh, yeah, yeah, fair point. Shinya, can you, like, clear off for a bit? Tomoe, I want to know what's going on here. Just, who is this guy? Is he an ex-boyfriend of yours? Because... because I'll, I'll fight him! You just watch me! No need for that. Not here to steal your girl. Just listen to him, Shinya. You've no need to worry. Fine then. I can tell when I'm not wanted. If anyone needs me, I'll be outside. What a catch. Shut up. You don't know him like I do. Okay. So what the fuck is this all about? I need to know. Have you told Noriko you're quitting? Nah, not yet. Surely you could have asked me that over noise. Probs. Thought you might be in danger already. Danger? Why? I have a theory. Reckon Noriko will cut us up if we leave our merry band. <laughs> nah. Noriko and I are besties. She wouldn't hurt me. Don't act so certain. Noriko will do anything to protect herself. That neighbor of hers? The guy that got arrested? She set him up from the very start. Made him take the fall so she wouldn't become a suspect. You're shitting me. Dead serious. And... I don't think Noriko's working alone. Well, of course she's not. We're working with her.
Not what I meant. Noriko. Noriko may not be the ringleader here like we assumed. She said, and I quote, when Corpse Girl first told me to start killing, end quote. Noriko was Corpse Girl. She always calls herself that. In fact, she even admitted it to me once. Yeah, I remember it. I kind of suspected it and I asked her about it, and she confirmed it. Sure about that? Uh, well, pretty sure, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> now I'm starting to doubt myself. Don't sweat it. Noriko does refer to herself as Corpse Girl. I'm sure of it. Right? I thought so. But I'm still uneasy about it. Someone convinced her to start killing, and she seems to think it was Corpse Girl. Ugh. I don't get it. Neither do I. But I'll get to the bottom of it. Right. For now, for your own safety, don't tell Noriko you're quitting. Seriously? I don't know how she'll react. What a drag. I really don't want to do this anymore. Be patient. Give me a bit of time. You sure you can sort this out? Yeah. Leave it to me. Thanks. Later then. Oh! Okay. He'll be fine. Get up, Shinya. I was uh, just um. Gotta go. Bye.
No luck. Sorry to rock up so late. It's fine. I was awake. Okay. Bad news. Hit me. Morg's been plundered. Plundered? <laughs> what, are you a pirate now? <sighs> Wait. Your tone. You're not joking. No. Explain. All the cadavers have been stolen. Cold chambers are completely empty. Fuck! Yeah, my thoughts exactly. How could you let this happen? Me? I'm no security guard. Don't put this on me. Who's Corpse Girl? What? Who is she? Don't act dense! I'm Corpse Girl! If you're trying to be funny, it isn't working. Now isn't the time. We've lost everything, Kojiro. I've got a couple of bodies here at the factory, but they're allocated to victims already! If Corpse Girl gets any new requests, we won't be able to fulfill them. There, you did it again. You referred to Corpse Girl as another person. Can you stop messing around? Don't you see how serious this is? I do. So, what do we do? <sighs> what can we do? You'll have to break into another morgue. Start stealing corpses for me. No. What do you mean, no? Don't say no to me! I'd do just about anything for you. But sometimes, you need to know when to call it. There's no moving forward from here. Give up, Kojiro! I've come so far! Somebody stole the cadavers from the morgue. From my morgue. Somebody who knows what I'm involved in. It wasn't an attempt to stop what we're doing. What do you mean? It was a message. 
Whoever did it wanted to prove that they are more powerful than we are. Pulling several hundred stiffs from a morgue, all at once, without getting busted? That's something even we couldn't achieve. Someone knows our operation, inside and out. Someone knows what we do and how we do it. And they wanted to prove that they can do it better. The Human Removal Service. Who else? Damn it. Hope you can see the truth now. We can't continue with them in the picture. You're right. Our next move is to destroy them. Destroy the Herald. What do you propose? You said you'd do nearly anything for me, right? More or less. Then... Hunt down Junpei Matsumoto. Again. He needs to reveal the identity of his leader. The Herald. Right. Didn't work so well last time. You were interrupted last time. Owie got in the way, didn't she? Yeah, tried to defend her boyfriend. You need to extract information from Junpei at any cost. When you're done, kill him. I have no problem with that. But if Aoi is present again, I'll have to back down. Interferes, kill her. I do this for you. I want something in return. What? Be with me. You still want me? I've never wanted you more. I'm in love with you, Noriko. In case that wasn't clear before. Okay. Take care of this issue for me. And you can call me yours. I'll be your girlfriend, or your wife, or your mistress. Whatever you want. My heart will be yours. Okay. I'm on it. Leave it to me. Thank you, Kojiro. I'm putting my faith in you. 